Hi, this is Scott from Scott Shot Media. Today is Thursday, July 2nd, and this is what is happening on the mountain. No fires to report uh, today uh, on or around our mountain. Over in the Angeles National Forest, there's been a fire burning since yesterday near Aqua Dulce. And if you watched the sunset last night, you saw a lot of drift smoke uh, from that fire. Uh, and uh, that will likely make its return every evening over the mountain areas, uh, giving us uh, moderate to unhealthy air quality for the next couple of few days uh, until they get that fire uh, knocked down. There is no hazardous fire weather currently reported. Uh, the fire danger on the San Bernardino remains high, which is normal for this time of year. And we expect it to stay that way through most of the summer, July, August, and at least into September. Traffic updates. Uh, no significant uh, hazards to report. No traffic accidents. Uh, no closures. However, there are some Caltrans projects. The ongoing bridge work down on State Route 330 below the lower passing lane has you delayed as you wait for the traffic signal. And there is the ongoing... Um, project on State Route 189 near Cottage Grove uh, for some emergency repairs. And that uh, will go on until about four o'clock today. And not sure if they're gonna be working on that uh, over the holiday weekend, um, but uh, there is no uh, end date on that project. It seems to be uh, something that's a little bit bigger than they originally thought. So watch out for the cone zone when you're over there. And as we talk about the holiday weekend and traffic, you can certainly expect uh, traffic, upbound traffic to increase significantly on the 18, 330, and 38 on the front side. Uh, a lot of people have tomorrow off, and even with the fireworks being canceled in both Big Bear and Lake Arrowhead, uh, there is still a, a large amount of visitors expected on the mountain this weekend. Crime updates. Uh, there's a handful of crimes uh, that have been reported in the past 24 hours across the mountain over in Crestline. On Crest Forest Drive, there was an arrest made for somebody being under the influence. Uh, the rest of them were over in the Big Bear Lake and Big Bear City, most of them being on Big Bear Boulevard. So Big Bear uh, Lake, Big Bear Boulevard, Grand Theft Auto over by the dam over here. Uh, and then uh, further east, we had uh, another Grand Theft Auto reported on Pine Knot. We had uh, a negligent discharge of a firearm uh, over here on um, Big Bear Boulevard. Uh, further uh, towards uh, the east on Big Bear Boulevard, there was a vehicle break-in as well as a report of vandalism. Uh, those were different addresses, so I think they were two separate incidents. Uh, there was over uh, on the north side, of the lake on Panamint Mountain. There was a, a report of a fraud being committed. And then lastly, a DUI uh, arrest also on the boulevard in Big Bear City. Weather updates, weather's gonna look great uh, through the holiday weekend. Uh, no advisories, uh, no warnings issued by the National Weather Service. Uh, there are a handful of power outages reported today more than normal. These are all equipment upgrades or pole upgrades over here in Crestline. Uh, there are nine customers uh, without power. That should be returned to them this morning sometime. Uh, so they'll, they're will they almost done with that work. Uh, but in Rim Forest, there's 30 customers without power due to pole upgrades. That's uh, expected to last until 2 p.m. Over in Lake Arrowhead, there are 28 customers without power due to pull upgrades until about 4 p.m. In Green Valley Lake, 15 customers without power until about two o'clock due to pull upgrade. And then over here, hiding behind me, uh, over here in the uh, Forest Falls area, there are a total of five outages, all four equipment upgrades, affecting a total of 706 customers. And most of that power should be returned by four o'clock this afternoon. Again, this was Scott from Scott Shot Media, and that is what is happening on the mountain.